Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am just gonna be doing a couple days in my life. If you are new here, my name is Bianca. And I to start the vlog off and tell you guys about today's sponsor, Newly. So thank you so much, Newly, for working with me on today's video. Here, I'm gonna set you guys down. So if you don't know, Newly is a clothing rental service. So for $88 a month, you can rent six items and up to two bonus items from brands like For Love and Lemons, Spell and the Gypsy, Free People, A Goldie, tons of amazing brands that are on this site. And seriously, all you do is pay $88 a month. They also have a whole vintage section, which I thought was really cool. I scrolled through the vintage section. I just had a good time shopping on Newly's website. And also something that I love is if you end up really liking one of the clothing items that you rented one month from newly or if, even if you liked a couple you can purchase them and there will usually be a discount I like it a lot because I'm the type of person who wears something once and then kind of never really wears it again and also I love wearing those like super statement pieces that have extravagant patterns and things like that but then it's just kind of like a one and done situation so with newly you can rent it wear it for the month and then return it at the end of the month I also have a discount code for you guys so you can receive $20 off of your first month with newly if you use the code bianca newly 20 and plus i'll just have everything you need to know linked in the description box as well but i wanted to show you guys what i picked up from newly so it's cool because each time you order clothes it comes in this bag and it is a reusable bag made out of recycled waste from the ocean so there's no plastic at all which i really really love and also everything on the newly website was so up to date and like the styles and the trends so i picked out Six things that I seriously can't wait to show you guys. Also, your return slip is right here on the inside of the bag. So you can just take this out and pop it right in. It's super easy to send your clothes back at the end of the month. So here is what they look like in the bag. They're packaged really, really nicely. And okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys. And I'm gonna try all these clothing items on for you too. So first thing I picked out was this pair of A Goldie jeans. I have wanted to try out a pair of A Goldie jeans so bad. But I honestly just never have because they're quite pricey. And I also didn't even know my size. But everyone wears these jeans and they're so cute and so comfortable. Um, they're this perfect light wash blue shade. And then they also have some distressing on the knee. And so when I saw these, I knew I had to rent them. So I actually have already tried them on. That's why they're already unbuttoned. Um, but they just have the button up the front and they're so cute. And I'm so happy I got to try out these jeans. And then um, you can just send them back at the end of the month. So this is the first thing that I got. Here's the jeans on. They're so flattering, so cute. I'm actually so glad I got to try these out first so then I could even see what size I was. I ended up sizing up to a 28 and I probably could go up one more size. They fit really well up here but they're just a little tight throughout the thighs. So good to know because I actually really, really like these jeans um, and I feel like I would really want to actually own a pair because I'm always trying to hunt to find jeans that I love. Um, and yeah, I think they're definitely worth investing in though. I'm glad I got to rent them and try them out first. Okay, Urban Outfitters had some really cute tops on Newly, So I picked up this one, perfect for end of summer. It just has some ruching and it ties at the top. Really cute floral pattern print. And this seriously fits in so well with my style. I cannot wait to wear this. So I also picked up this tank top and I'm obsessed. And then here's a look at this tank top. Everything that came was in super good condition, so I'm very, very pleased. I would just need to iron the top of this a little bit, but nothing an iron can't fix. But isn't this top so cute and feminine? I really like it. It fits so well. I love the ties on the top too. Yeah, I definitely love this look a lot. Okay, also from Urban Outfitters, I got this dress. I think that this is close to one of my favorite things that I picked up. So it's this cream color with this really pretty floral pattern. I am so into florals right now. It's got the puff sleeves. You guys know I'm obsessed with puff sleeves and also puff sleeves are like so on trend right now. So um, yeah, it's just this really cute fitted mini dress and the pattern is just so simple and minimal, but honestly so cute. So this is like perfect for date night and stuff, which we are going out, Colin and I, this week. So I'm excited because I'm going to wear that for sure. Definitely another favorite. This dress is so flattering and it fits like a glove. Also, I'm like very into this neckline. This might be my new favorite now that I have it on. Wow, it is so cute. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to comment and tell me what your favorite is because this one right now is doing it for me. Okay, next thing I picked up was from For Love and Lemons, one of my favorite stores ever to window shop. I've never purchased because of how expensive it is. Look at how cute this top is. 
So it's um, got a blue and pink floral pattern. As you can tell, this is like totally on brand for me right now. I love the floral patterns and the wider neckline is so cute with the puff sleeves. And I'm so excited to take a picture in this. So I also got this. Okay, here is the top from Love and Lemons. It is so adorable. It buttons up in the front, which is really cute. And it's also super soft and silky. It's just a really comfortable top in general. And I've just always wanted to own something from For Love and Lemons. So this just will do. This will definitely do. Okay, and then also I figured that this would be really cute for a date night. It was just really unique, and I'm very excited to wear this. So it's this knit skirt. Um, it's nice and flowy. It'd be good for, like, the beach during the summer or even just, like, with a tank top on date night. Something super cute and flirty and simple. Um, there's also lining on the inside, which I really liked because that, that way you didn't have to worry about, like, what you're wearing underneath or anything like that. But I'm also very excited about this. Okay, so this skirt, I don't know if I ever mentioned it when I was showing you guys in the haul. It's from Astra, the label, and I love that brand a lot. I own a couple things from them, and they've got really cute clothes. So when I saw this skirt, I really wanted to try it, and it is so flattering and cute. The underlay is perfect. You could even, like, tuck a graphic t-shirt with it and wear it with, like, tennis shoes. Like, you could really dress it up or down. I like it a lot. And then I'm saving the best for last. So this dress is from Spell and the Gypsy. Again, a super expensive clothing brand to shop at, but they have the prettiest dresses ever. So it's this really pretty like magenta pink color with, um, it's almost like an off-white cream type with it. And it is this long maxi dress. And oh my goodness, this is literally to die for. I am so excited to wear this. And it's perfect because it's one of those pieces that's like a really big statement piece. And so like you only want to wear it a couple times and then you're kind of like, okay, like I wore it. But it's so expensive. So that's why renting it is great. So yeah, I'm literally so excited about this. Just kidding. This one is my favorite. This dress from Spell. Oh my goodness. Okay, here, let me get you up close and personal. So neckline, gorgeous. Got a little twisted when I was trying it on. Okay, so then also this tie with these little things on the bottom is actually really, really cute. And then it's just so like flowy and pretty and cute. And oh, I just love this. This would be actually so cute for a date night. So stinking cute. Or like girls, brunch, socially distanced. <laughs> um, and I don't know. It's just like so cute. You can wear this to so many different things. I think girls brunch or like bridal shower, baby shower, anything like that. That's what I'm feeling the most with this dress. But or just like strolling through a town that is like cute. <laughs> I just really like this dress a lot. Wow, I need more stuff from Spell and the Gypsy. This stuff is really good quality too. So like I said, I will have everything you need to know in the description box. Thank you so much, Newly, for working with me on this video. Again, don't forget to use my code BiancaNewly20 for $20 off your first month. And I am going to get into the rest of the vlog. Just did my hair. Now I'm gonna do my makeup. I figured I would show you guys how I do my makeup when I want it to look like minimal slash like hurry. Don't wanna do like the full shebang. Earlier the weather today was so gloomy and now the sun came out a little bit. So I figured 
might as well. Currently I've been using the Fenty Beauty Primer because I honestly love Fenty. Is it expensive? Yes. Do I want it all the time? All of it? Yeah. Okay. Just gonna blend that in. I did my skincare right after the shower and if you missed it, I uploaded my entire routine plus the links on my Instagram. It's in my AM like morning skincare highlight, but it says AM because I couldn't fit it, like couldn't fit the word morning in there and have it all show up on the same thing. So yeah, if you want to use my exact products, it's over there. I've been really liking it getting ready in our room lately just because the lighting is so much better. That's another thing. When we move in November, I'm gonna try and get a bathroom with a window. So we have natural lighting in the bathroom. We'll see how it works. Okay. I still go in with foundation. I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Just put a little of but I'm gonna just blend this in. This brush I'm using is actually from Target. It was just like a regular flat top, like kabuki type brush. Does anyone remember when like the Sigma brush sets were literally so popular? Because I certainly remember, because I wanted it so bad. I asked for it forever, and then I like, when I was in high school, I think, I asked for it for Christmas, and I ended up getting it for Christmas. It was like the best day ever. Foundation just honestly doesn't match my skin color though. I bought it online because you know like COVID and it was before our Sephora is opened But I'm about to go out of town at the end of the month and I think that I'm gonna have to go to Sephora and get like a new foundation because I cannot go out of town To where I'm going and show up with foundation that literally doesn't match my face That would be unprofesh and then when I came, I was like, well, I'm not going to return it. I'm just going to get tan. And, you know, in the time span of me buying that, like now, I've actually gotten really tan. And it still hasn't, it still hasn't helped. Like this foundation is just literally orange on me. Next, I'm going to go in and do the eyebrows. Lately, I've been using the Milk Makeup Fiber Brow Pencil. I think I'm going to order some of the Boy Brow from Glossier next. But tomorrow, I'm going to make an appointment. Hopefully, they have an appointment. I'm going to do that after I do my makeup to get my eyebrows done. I'm going to go to the Benefit Brow Bar. And I absolutely need to get my eyebrows done so bad. They're so, so awful and long and grown out and, like, just long. Also, I have, like no eyebrow here from when i burnt my face with the boiling water so you know i just need to get them waxed and then i think i need to get an eyebrow pencil to fill in like the front part of my eyebrow and this isn't cutting it for the part of my eyebrow that's literally burnt off aka this little spot in the front and i don't know how that one little spot happened but oh well at least it wasn't like anywhere near the wedding oh my god if that happened in like january for like the first couple days of February. Holy cow. That would have been a disaster. Okay, I literally did the best I could with my eyebrows. So next I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I like don't know why, but I do concealer kind of weird. So I put that on the outside. And I also have a like one breakout in the corner right there. So I'm just gonna like put it on top right there. And then I like to go in right on the inner corner with the Tarte Shape Tape. And I actually got it in like a shade lighter than I really needed. Um, because I like when it brightens my face up. So, oops. I also go like super light right down the bridge of my nose. Just like that. And then we just pat blend this out. Okay, so lately I've been using the um, Tarte Shape Tape Powder as well. I actually really like it, and this is like the first time I've really ever used it. It's because I ran out of my Hourglass powder, which is my like absolute favorite powder. I just had nothing else to use, so I ended up getting this, and then it was a success because I really like it. So, anyways, it doesn't have flashback or anything, which was very important to me. Okay, so I'm going to put powder around the bake you know and then oh, while i wait for the bake oh god i just got powder all over my drawers i just do a little bronzer because i have to do bronzer every day I don't like when my face looks super round i need it to be dimensional i just use the whole bronzer by the way and i just get up here go down kind of use the bronzer to brush away the bake on my nose 
and honestly kind of sloppy with bronzer I could do better but if you get sloppy just use your same little sponge you use to bake and just you know make a line with your bake down where it could cut your bronzer and then it works out fine and then you can go ahead wipe away the bake or I mean you could do whatever you want I go ahead and wipe away the bake and underneath then it's usually get a better line okay and then just to make things nice and simple I just take a big fluffy brush by the way these brushes are from BH cosmetics also from Target just take a big fluffy brush and just kind of like pop that into my crease just to add a little bit but not too much again super simple with the makeup All right, we'll throw some blush on my cheeks. I'm using this one from Charlotte Tilbury in Ecstasy. All right, all that's left is to curl the lashes and then pop some mascara on and I'm done. Also update on like the job thing. Okay, everyone told me I should go back to coaching at Orange Theory. I, first of all, just cannot, <laughs> I just can't. Also my NASM, my uh, certified personal trainer certification, it expires in December. And I don't know if I'm gonna continue the extra credits because I just don't see myself using it. And I also don't see myself coaching at Orange Theory again because I'm like the type of person where I don't want to work where I work out. And I realized that when I was coaching at Orange Theory, it just was kind of making me unhappy because I was just spending so much time there. And then when I was there for my workout, I was just kind of like, meh, you know? And that's like something that didn't make me happy because I literally love Orange Theory. And I liked like coming for my workout, getting my workout in and then leaving and just being done with it. And I just think I like wasn't the happiest person when I was coaching. Like, did I love it? Yes. And I met so many people and it was so fun. But at the same time, I just don't think that it was for me. Like, I don't see myself doing it again because I'm so much happier as a member and just going there and working out and then being done with it and associating it with my like workout happy place versus like my place of work where like sometimes things go wrong and like, you know things are stressful or whatnot and it just wasn't making my workout a happy time because I was just kind of like stressed I guess I don't know it's just something I noticed and I don't think I'm gonna ever go back to coaching but good idea people good idea done with my makeup other than that I'm just gonna put on my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lipstick but yeah let's get on with the rest of the day shall we after I fix this eyelash there we go Okay, so I'm about to film a sit down video. I wasn't planning on doing this today, but I got ready. So I figured why not. Um, hack, I put our chia seeds in this mason jar from Target and they're really cute in it. <laughs> I really like it. So they're just sitting, I have it sitting on like the corner of our counter over here. Cause okay, also that needs to be thrown away. But I have the blender here and then our chia seeds and our new olive oil from Trader Joe's, except I'm gonna take the label off. So it just looks like this because I just feel like it'll look more pleasing that way. Rounding up all of my Amazon things to do my Amazon favorites video because I've had this like plan to film for a very long but I just kind of didn't film it yet. I think I was waiting for one more thing to come in. My, um, my little coffee cup thing that everyone always asks where it's from, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna film that really quick and then we have errands to run today. I just took some Instagram pictures in the mirror. I also made that pasta lunch that I literally always make for lunch. So I just like decided we'll just skip that part because that's kind of like all I was feeling like eating for lunch today was the pasta. I think we're doing burritos. We're eating what we ate in the what I ate in a day for lunch for dinner for dinner. We're repeating the dinner. I don't know what I'm saying now. I also am going to my friend Kara's bridal shower this weekend and her wedding gift came. So when we go to Target later, I need to get like cute wedding related wrapping paper and then I'll open it and we can wrap it together. Okay, so I've got all my stuff laying out here. 
I'm also gonna mention my little home decor area I've got over here, but I'm getting ready to set up my tripod and film it. So I will see you guys when I'm done filming this. And then we'll do some more fun things. Oh my god, that's a mess over there, by the way. I'm glad it's blurry. Okay, I filmed my Amazon favorites thing. I was completely inspired by my friend Wesley Ann. She just moved into my apartment complex and we are like BFFs now. Not even kidding. That video just really took it out of me. For some reason, when I film, I get out of breath. And I think it's because I talk so fast. And I'm really trying to adapt the Maggie McDonald ways of how she speaks. She speaks so slow and she really thinks about what she's saying. And... I just really feel like I need to do that. I'm always out of breath. I speak so fast, sometimes I mess up my words. And instead, instead of saying it like that, I could be like, I speak so fast, sometimes I mess up my words. And I would never mess up my words again. Anyways, I just think that she, I just like the way she, she talks slower than I do. And everyone's told me my whole life I need to slow down what I'm saying. So at age 23 and a half, I'm planning on listening. I'm about to change outfits and go take an Instagram picture on the way to Target and GNC. I'm out of pre-workout. I signed up for deliveries, but then Colin, without telling me, started using my pre-workout because he was out. And now I'm out, and it's before my delivery will deliver. So, therefore, I have to go buy more pre-workout. But it's okay, whatever. Not gonna complain about it. He is just a dork sometimes. My friend. Kara, like I told you about her bridal shower, I might wear the dress that I'm planning on wearing to her bridal shower and take a pic in it today so I don't feel like rushed or stressed or in case it rains or whatnot on the day of her bridal shower. I won't feel like pressed to take a picture because I like the dress and I want to take a picture in it. So I think I might do that. Also, my hair dryer died last night and I'm asking you guys what hair dryer to use or to get next because I don't know if I loved the dry bar one. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I like dry bar. I like going there. I just don't blow dry my hair as well as they do. So anyway, with that being said, you guys are all telling me to get the Dyson. Do you guys think money grows on trees? That is so expensive. I cannot get a Dyson. I need to get one though. ASAP Rocky. But, uh, y'all. Remember last vlog when I was telling you I need to get a part-time job? And then you're going to tell me to get a Dyson? Think not, friends. That'll go on my wedding registry. All things Dyson. Vacuum. Hair dryer. I wish. One day, one day, I'll have money to just be like, I'm going to get a Dyson. Because I will be successful. But until then, we are in grind mode, okay? I will have to get, like, the lesser version of that that's still kind of good, but not the Dyson. You know what I mean? Someone out there can relate. Okay. Also, do you like my hair better waved or curled? I can't decide so you can tell me and then I'll listen if I feel like it hey guys we've got ourselves an outfit change so this is my bridal shower dress also from Princess Polly um, it's this really cute midi dress so yeah I'm just gonna take a pic just to have it you know I've been waiting to wear this dress and I finally have an excuse to wear it so yeah anyway we're going to Target and to take the picture, we just need like body soap and stuff like that at Target too. Nothing like crazy, all the essentials. We're going into Target, just went to GNC, took an Instagram picture. Now I'm going to conquer my Target list with style. Real exciting Target trip. Might be our newest, cheapest Target trip ever. Maybe. Okay, ended up getting Kara this card. It's so cute. I was very impressed. It said, celebrating the love you share, the life you're building together, and the happiness that surrounds you. Congrats and happy wedding shower. It's her bridal shower, but I don't even know if those are the same things. I think that those are the same things. Anyway, I just thought it was very cute, on point with the aesthetic. I'm gonna open up the box with Kara and Adam's wedding gift. So I got them a Keurig. And I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond where they are registered. And usually Bed Bath & Beyond has discount codes. So I got it for like 20% off. And the one that they wanted was like the mini plus. Yeah. Fits anywhere. All right. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I didn't get that gift bag because the mini plus still is like huge. And I got it for him in gray because that's the color that she specified on her registry. Kara's one of my bridesmaids too, if you guys are wondering. But 
Um, yeah, here's their Keurig. So that's exciting. It's a new color. Okay, looks cool. Oh, it, and it has pod storage. Okay, Kara's a nurse. She needs a Keurig for sure. All right, um, also at Target, I couldn't find like that much wedding related wrapping paper. So I got this gray one with hearts, but the wrapping paper's gray, the Keurig's gray. I figured matchy matchy situation. Are your Targets like very minimal on their inventory? Because I feel like all the Targets near us and like all the ones that I've been to since COVID happened are like super minimal on what they have. Like I was, oh, I just ripped the wrapping paper. Oh my God. I was surprised today when we went and they had like some fall stuff. Like they had a pretty cool pillow that we saw. Um, but other than that, I feel like their home decor section and like everything else is very, very lacking. So yeah. Okay. I'm terrible at wrapping, but I'm going to try and make this really good. Try. Okay. so proud of myself this looks amazing hey, look it looks so good this is the best wrapping job I've ever done for real got to thaw the chicken then we didn't have the right stuff for the marinade we like to make so we're ordering food instead not our finest moment but we're fine so um, we got Viva chicken for dinner we just got like a family sized chicken with some fries and I got a house salad so we're gonna end up making dinner tomorrow. Either way, it just got really late. We were out running errands longer than expected. Also, we go to GNC and the person working there, it kind of like took a minute to get us checked out. So anyways, whatever, we were just behind. And now we are just going to pick up Viva Chicken instead. I ordered online. So it's ready. <laughs> okay, we just got it. It's 8.20. I'm so hungry. I gotta unhook my phone. I left my cup in here. It was like the end of the world. Okay. Just started the show Killing Eve. So, so far I really like it. I think it's pretty good. Mindhunter had like the worst ending because there's no other seasons after it. So far, really like Killing Eve. Also, Colin's trying to get me to watch Umbrella Academy. I just don't think I'm gonna like it. I think she will. It looks too like futuristic and like weird for my tastings. I'm more of like a cop killer. Killer of the cops, FBI, CIA, Secret Service. You can expand your palette. I can say the same for you. What food? Trying to get a nice recording of our feet walking to our apartment. Okay, so it's like chicken with three sides. So I got a salad. We got some fries. And here's some chicken. We might need some plates. Colin's got his own thing of fries over there. These are seriously such good french fries. Oh my god. morning guys happy friday so i have a 10 a.m orange theory class i got up today at like 6 50 now it's 8 45 i've had a very nice relaxing morning um and it was just like slow paced and very very good great way to start off the day so i'm picking up my camera now i just did my morning motivational quotes and i realized i never showed you guys what i got at gnc yesterday so i will grab that and i'll show you okay i washed my active wear last night so it's hanging up drying behind me 
but let me show you what I got. So uh, whenever the collagen comes in stock at GNC, I always pick it up because it goes really, really quick. And the bottle that it comes in is actually huge. I love Olani New Collagen. And then I also picked up some more protein because we were out. Um, this time, they honestly didn't have a good selection at all. So I got the whey protein peanut butter brownie. It was just like really lacking. It was like practically all gone um we've never had this flavor before i never really choose it because i kind of make fruit smoothies with like greens and stuff um which i'm out of greens so that's not good but i need to go pick those up after my workout i just remembered but yeah i got that to try out so i'll try that out after my workout and then i got a new pre-workout so they didn't have mimosa and like I told you, did I tell you? Colin drank my Arctic White, so I ran out earlier than I was supposed to. Anyway, whatever. So I got Carnival Candy Grape. I've never had this kind. And I don't really like flavors that are super sour. And um, just Mimosa and Arctic White are my favorite. They're super easy to drink. It doesn't even taste like... It just tastes really good to me. So yeah, I'm about to make this pre-workout and try this. But yeah, I'm interested. I hope I like it because I bought it, but, and I told her I didn't want my receipt. So, yeah, I don't know. It's so strange that I felt like there was barely any products in the GNC that we found that was open near us because they've all been closing. So, let's see if I like this. Okay, filled up my shaker cup. I'm gonna just give it a shot. I'm just gonna take a sip because obviously my workout isn't until 10, but I thought it would be worth doing for the taste test. It does taste like grapes though. That's interesting. Oh, it's carnival candy, not cotton candy. Is that like the same thing? I don't think so. <sighs> I like, don't like candy by the way. I've never liked candy. Not one for candy. Carnival candy, grape. I don't know why I thought it was cotton candy grape. Cause you know those like big cotton candy grape things? What are those called? They're like the really big ones. Everyone's like the cotton candy grapes. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, okay, it wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite, mainly because I don't like love grapes. I'm more of like a strawberry, blueberry gal, blackberry. But I don't know, it's okay, whatever. It's just pre-workout. Okay, so Colin went to the gym this morning and I'm driving to Orange Theory. Today is such a gross and gloomy day. For a Friday, I love a good sunny Friday. A good sunny Monday and a good sunny Friday is what we love, but it's fine. Maybe it'll clear up later. It's only like in the morning. So I'm currently headed to Orange Theory. I'm about to drink my pre-workout. So yeah, I'm almost there. And I'm starting off on the floor today. Okay, now that like I'm actually drinking it, I'll give you a better like impression because I feel like the first impression of like a micro sip isn't valid. Oh. Also, no one merged for me to get over and it was like pretty rude. I seriously think that this tastes like lightsaber gum, light, lifesaver, lifesaver gummies, those circle gummies. I truly don't know the correct name because I've only had them like a few times in my life and then I just decided I, I don't like gummies or candy or anything like that. Yeah, this literally tastes like the Lifesaver gummies. Oh, I don't like it. But it's just because it's sour and I don't like candy. It was my only option though. It was like between this and Hawaiian shaved ice and I've had that before and I don't really like that one either. Or I guess it's not that I don't like them, it's that I don't like them as much as Mimosa and Arctic White. Um, Galaxy Lemonade was really, really good, too. I'm outside of Orange Theory. It's raining. 
so I'm definitely gonna stay in my car until I can see that they're letting people in because I parked like super close but so I put up an Instagram story asking you guys what hair dryer I should get and everyone said Dyson but then Madison and this um, other girl I know her name's Frida and they both do hair and they're both like really really good at hair and they both said to get the bio icon ionic bio ionic Sephora is having a sale right now and I think that I'm gonna end up getting the one that they recommended because they obviously do hair too and then one day when I'm like able to like comfortably afford like a Dyson I might get the Dyson I don't know I'm still thinking about it I might end up being like haha I got the Dyson <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling that's another thing about budgeting like you have to always have money like saved you know because you never plan for when you're gonna need to buy a hairdryer because you're just broke and you like use a hairdryer every day and they're expensive or um also that's another thing like I'm going out of town for um something at the end of the month and oh my god there's a huge semi and I need to bring my camera because it's work related and Colin also has um, video scheduled so he needs a lens so I'm gonna have to buy a lens and a camera and pay for stuff while I'm out of town things are so stressful being an adult sucks I actually don't want to be back in college but I took for granted how much not having to pay for rent and bills and all that stuff I literally took that for granted because seriously you don't realize if you're watching this and you haven't graduated college yet and you're not on your own and you're not financially supporting yourself you don't realize how expensive it is and it adds up quick very quick especially when you're like in a relationship and you like grocery shop for two and you do all this stuff for two I mean granted we do have two incomes coming in which is nice but you know it's just things you don't realize anyways I see that they're letting people in so I'm gonna go run I just showered, tried to like blow dry my hair. I haven't brushed it at all yet though because I'm trying to preserve the wave today and then I'll do a little retouch up wave tomorrow for Kara's um, bridal shower. Also, every time I try and like talk to a camera, there's people doing lawn work outside and I don't know how because it's literally raining. Um, so Colin literally just made himself a strawberry daiquiri. It's 1.14 on a Friday, but I mean like whatever. And he's already prepping for dinner and marinating the chicken because of the situation we had yesterday. So yeah, I'm, since it's literally disgusting out, I'm going to park myself on the couch over here with my blanket. By the way, my sweater is super old from Free People. Free People's the best for like really, really comfy sweaters that are super expensive, but they last so long and you know you're gonna wear them forever. Highly recommend. So also if you shop during like the sales and stuff, you can get like some pretty good stuff. My ACDC sweatshirt, well, I got that for Christmas, but that's from Free People. Anyway, they're my favorite for like oversized sweaters and stuff. I made myself a coffee. I'm gonna pop my AirPods in, edit a what I eat in a day video, which you guys have already seen. Well, okay, I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Editing. Lunch break. We're watching Percy Jackson, you know, throwback for a good rainy day. It is so gross outside. We've both been just sitting here pretty much for the whole day editing. I got a video up and it's scheduled for this Sunday because I'm gonna start uploading every Wednesday and Sunday. I've imported footage from another video and I just created an Amazon storefront, finally. I have to like set everything up and edit it, but here's what I have so far. So moving forward in every video, it will be in the description. And now, whoa, it's dark, sorry, we are about to go run to the grocery store to get avocados for dinner. It's like, we've had the hardest struggle making burritos for dinner the past couple days. I don't know what our problem is, but we'll be right back.
good morning guys so it's Kara's bridal shower this morning and uh, I'm just wearing this dress when I bought it online I thought there was a slit in it because the model had it like up on her leg like that but there is no slit in it so you know just double check your facts before you buy things <laughs> but it's okay honestly you know you could put a slit in it I know you could do that somehow some way I might do that but yeah so it's just a midi dress and then i'm wearing these shoes um that i've been wearing a lot from naked fashion and just a little simple thing there's part virtual and then part drive-by but during the drive-by you can like get out and take a picture with her give her the gift so i still wanted to wear like a nice outfit so that's what i'm wearing her gift is over here i'm not gonna vlog because like it's her day but um i'm gonna probably do some posts on my instagram story so if you follow me you would have seen it but i'm going to head over there my friend maddie maddie's one of my bridesmaids too and we all know kara um so she's riding with me over there and then yeah i will see you guys after okay so i'm back from kara's bridal shower it was actually kind of like early in the day so i just got back and it's like 11 30 and my mom just went to orange theory and she's like oh my god it was so fun you should go so i just signed up for the 12 o'clock because it was open and now i'm like sprinting to get there just made my pre-workout and now i'm just getting everything ready to go and initially i didn't get in and then they messaged me and they're like hey you're in so I've got full makeup on and everything, but I'm going. I just got out of class. I'm so glad that I went. I barely made it. I made it like two minutes before the class started, but um, I didn't speed or anything. I just like drove there, you know, that was fine. Swear, but um, oh, the back of my hair is like tangly underneath. But that's like something I hate. I'd wear my hair up higher, but it's just, I feel like it's not, I mean, I know it's not healthy for your hair to wear your hair up here. So I like rarely do it. I only do it when it's like really, really gross, but um yeah i'm just really glad that i ended up going because it was a power day and my mom was right it was really fun i just feel like i'm wiped out i'm so hungry right now so yeah anyway had a really good workout and i'm you know just getting in the workout i usually do work out today too so i was gonna take today off and then work out tomorrow but i'll probably just end up taking one day this week off um because tomorrow colin and i are booked to go to class and i obviously want to go to class with him and i took one day like kind of easy this past week um because i had a lot of work to do and so i'm just gonna and i didn't like go to orange theory or anything i just kind of mostly stretch at the gym so i'm considering that my off day um because i feel fine like i don't feel sore or anything so it's all about listening to your body is the main point of me telling you this like if you are like me and you love working out and it just is such a key part of your day for your happiness and you feel like working out that day then just do it and then another day in the upcoming week that you don't feel like it take that day off like you don't have to have a set in stone day every single week that you take off like when people are like oh saturday is my off day you always have a saturday well what if i feel like working out on saturday and on tuesday i just have so much work and it'd be easier for me to take that day off you know like it doesn't have to be such a strict schedule and it's actually more fun when you just go with the flow and you're like yeah i want to work out today or eh, not feeling it today it's also so much healthier for your mental state if you work out that way which is what i do now so wow that car is going like 100 it's unnecessary i can't stand that okay i'm gonna keep driving now but hope you enjoyed that little rant of listen to your body and work out whenever you feel like it and do what makes you happy positive words from bianca okay so after orange theory i came back and did computer work Jimmy Neutron's literally playing in the background. <laughs> I'll come in here. I did computer work. I added it to my Amazon storefront. So that's like pretty much ready to go. There's just like some things I probably didn't think of that I'll add like along the way. I'll show you my outfit. I'm wearing this crop top from Princess Polly. They've got the best. So if you need one, go look. And then I'm wearing this midi skirt from free people and it's just got like a slit in the front and it's really cute i have it in a tan color too um i'm wearing a medium i probably should have gotten a small because it's like a very large but it's okay <laughs> look at my mess so for the rest of the day today colin was working earlier and then went to go see his friend andrew and sorry i keep touching my hair but 
I'm about to put it up because it's annoying me. Did that, and then while he did that, I was like working. I'm looking for wedding shoes to wear with my wedding dress. So I did that, and now we are gonna get sushi for dinner. I'm gonna just do something with my hair. Back with the sushi. There's another roll in here. I'm gonna fill up my water. I'm gonna try, there's my dead hair dryer. I'm gonna try and find this cup online for you guys. I seriously got it when I was like 13, but we'll see. Sunset coming in hot. I am sitting here editing this video in the future, hello. I realized I forgot to make an outro. What am I thinking? Don't know. Anyway, I am going to close the vlog, but thank you again, Newly, for sponsoring with me on today's video. Don't forget my code. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That really supports my channel. Give it a thumbs up, stick around, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.